In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an account that you can access SkyDrive. Before we get there, I want to show you what SkyDrive is briefly. SkyDrive, officially known as a Microsoft SkyDrive, is a um, file hosting or sharing uh, service. It's on cloud and it is integrated with uh, live.com and hotmail.com and the the cloud computing component comes with Microsoft Office web applications so these are um, based on Microsoft Office 2010 and I'm sure it'll be upgraded on to uh, the next version of Microsoft application as well in essence, um, it comes with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. So these are free applications. Um, so they come in a kind of a limited version. In a way, instead of, for example, your desktop version of Microsoft Word would have seven, eight tabs of tools for Web Word. Uh, it comes with a couple of uh, tabs. However, you can do most of things for editing uh, or creating Word document using those two um, tabs of tools. But at the same time, you can download your Word document to your desktop for advanced um, operations. So in that sense, it's a free and it comes with Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And it comes with um, uh, file sharing host uh, service. It's basically, you can set up a folder of uh, drive as a shared drive, as well as just for your private um, drive or folders. So let's, uh, let's go and take a look at how you can create an account. So before we get there, if you want to use uh, your existing Hotmail or Live.com account, that is perfectly fine. Uh, you do not have to create a new account. But if you don't, or if you choose to create a new account, this is how you do it. So you have a choice between uh, Live.com or Hotmail.com. The basic difference is the uh, the domain name of the um, your email address. So in this case, I'm going to choose live.com so that um, my email address will have a domain of, domain name of uh, something at live.com uh, instead of something at hotmail.com and at the um, sign up page, I'm going to go ahead and click on this sign up button. And then quick, quickly, uh, you know, just fill in the, uh, the blanks here. So I'm going to say um, MIC 101 instructor, let's see, at Hotmail, or I'm going to choose live.com and create a password. Password would be something simple or not. And it is case sensitive and it has to be at least six characters um, using numbers, characters, and special characters such as um, emphasis, uh, dollar sign, and so on. And we type the password. And I am in the United States alternate email address so this is the just in case if you need to um, if you need help to get the password reset and things like that so this um, email from uh, live.com will be sent it to your gmail or um, any other web um, email account that you choose so i'm going to say um, That is my alternate live.com email address. So 
So it's going to be my name, zip code. I'm going to just put the college web, um, college email um, zip code. And gender, I'm going to say, I'll say I'm male. It doesn't matter. Um, my The birthday is, you can, do not put the real birthday, obviously. You can just choose, um, if you like, March 3rd, let's say 1993. If you want to, that could be your birthday in your um, accounts. So it's easy to remember. Um, 3 March 3rd 1993 was something like that so obviously you will need to remember because this is the one that uh, they will ask you if when you should need help to get the uh, password reset and then I'm going to type in this um, letters I I N G O E S. I think that's right. No, I don't need a promotional thing. I'm going to click on accept. Okay, it's been created. Now, as you can see, you have Hotmail and Messenger, SkyDrive, MSN. Well, Hotmail, you will check your emails. And um, here's a SkyDrive. Just one thing that you should be aware of is that you can just hover over. Don't click on it. Just hover over the, the link and then you have this drop-down menu. Um, so you can create a new Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. But for uh, going to the um, file location, go ahead and click on Documents. So this is the, the root or the top of your file space. So you can put the documents in the public for example uh, so that you can share with the uh, anyone so it says you shared by anyone so be careful if you don't want to share with anyone everyone don't put the documents in there and this documents folder this is just for you this is um, unless you specify to share a document or folder containing documents uh, with someone else, you will need to invite them and then you can share the documents within the uh, documents folder. So go ahead and click on there and then you can create new uh, documents or Excel spreadsheet and so on and also you can create a new folders, you can delete folders and you can share folders and so on. Okay.